when you stand back from all the individual challenges that uh, you've explored in the book, are there one or two problems that you see as particularly like really deep and really troubling? Yes, there are a few. I would say at a, at a macro level, because as you pointed out, I, I do speak about a lot of individual, individual challenges and individual problems that exist throughout the tech industry. But if, you, if we take a step back and really, really talk about a macro level thing, I would say um, there are two that for me are deeply ingrained challenges um, that I'm hoping we're going to make progresses on, but I don't know if we are as much as I think we should. The first one is this deeply ingrained uh, belief, especially in Silicon Valley, um, that governments are useless and that self-regulation is the only way to go. Um, and I find that idea incredibly dangerous. One, because self-regulation has never worked for any industry ever. Um, and the almost hubris that, um, that goes with that, this ego that goes with, oh, we're different, we're going to be able to self-regulate ourselves. Um, and this idea that democratically elected governments um, are something that we should be ignoring uh, feels to me incredibly uh, short-sighted, in particular because if you look, I have a humanities background, I, I studied history and philosophy and, and, and these kind of things. If you look at what has made Western societies so successful um my view my interpretation is is that it's been this really good balance we've been able to find especially uh, i would say over the last hundred years uh between entrepreneurial capitalism and democratically elected government that were pushing a certain vision of society and a certain vision of life and implementing guardrails and and this balance which, by the way, wasn't always easy to keep, but that, that balance that we have been able to maintain in different ways in Europe versus North America, but still, um, is what has allowed us to create such prosperous societies, in, in my opinion. And I think we, we find ourselves in a place right now where a lot of tech companies have been arguing for a really long time, though they're starting to change a little bit their, their tune. Uh, I've been arguing for a really long time that they can self-regulate and that governments are just making so many mistakes, which I find particularly ironic when you look at the number of massively destructive mistakes these same tech companies have been, have been making. And so there's almost like an idea of there are two different set of rules for tech companies which should be allowed to iterate and make mistakes and learn from their mistakes and another set of rules for government that should get it right from the get-go and and shouldn't be allowed to iterate uh, and if you allow me there is another problem i think which is actually touching on on what i've just described which is this deeply uh ingrained belief. I don't even know if it's a belief because I'm not sure it has been expressed in a way that people understand that this is how we operate in tech. Is this idea that we can test our way out of problems. So this, this famous A-B testing approach that most tech companies operate, uh, operate with where you have a problem and you test two solutions and, and you look at which one gets the best response and then you, you move into the next one. And so you A-B test everything that every decision that you make uh which in theory is amazing it looks like we we don't have to use a lot of brain juice let's just test stuff the issue is that it basically implies that we're going to make a lot of mistakes until we get to the solution and more importantly it it assumes that it's absolutely okay to use human beings as guinea pigs uh the tech industry is the only industry that runs test on billions of people without any control. And we as tech leaders, not only are comfortable with that, we are actually proud of it. We're like, look at how many tests we are running in parallel to make sure that we get to the same, to the right idea. And so to me, like these are two very deeply ingrained issue around self-regulation and this idea that it's okay to test, to use human being to A-B test everything. Um, we would probably be in a very different position right now 
if we had earlier on had conversation about whether these two beliefs are the right one.